Hi there, today I will talk a little bit about ice axes and crampons to use when you're out ski touring. So this is not uh, climbing equipment, mainly for ski touring and being able to get the last pitch up to the summit or climb a gully or whatever. And um, as you can see here behind me, I have some different ice axes. So I will just go through some, some of the different ones I use and uh, the pros and uh, cons with them. So uh, this is a Gravel Airtech, um, a carbon um, ice axe uh, with a nice shovel. Um, pretty heavy for being uh, uh, in carbon, but um, light enough. Uh, I think this one is really nice because it's not that long. Um, and it's the, the weight in it, which makes it much easier to, if you're, if you're out ski touring and it's really icy, I can use this in front of me to like dig out the tracks a little bit. And then if there's some weight in the axe, it's easier to, easier to use it. Uh, fits good in the, in the hand. And then the, another good thing with carbon is that the carbon doesn't get as cold as the metal if you have a ice axe in, in um, metal. Here we have some um, other ones. This is like the probably one of the easier, most standard. Here's um, um, another uh, Grevel ice axe. This is called Hauterut. Um, straight shaft, the difference between the straight shaft and the bent one is that the bent one will be easier if I want to use it to climb with because then I won't hit my hand in the ice and it's easier to hit it compared to, to this one. So this one is easier to just use straight down in the, in the snow. Um, this is a light, cheap and uh, a perfect, if you just want one uh, good axe, this would be like the um, perfect, uh, perfect choice. Here I have, have um, another one. This is, as you can see, not with a shovel, it's a hammer here on the backside, which uh, makes it hard to dig out tracks. And the thing I like with this one is that it's a little bit longer than the, than the, the other one. You see the yellow one here. So if I need one to dig out tracks, it's a little bit easier with this one. And it's actually a little bit heavier in the head too. And the weight in the head also makes it much, much easier to, to get out tracks. And here's the blue eyes uh, um, hummingbird I've been using quite a lot the last year. This is like a super duper lightweight. It's so light that you, yeah, it feels like it doesn't weigh anything. This one is short, which means it's easy to fit in the, in the backpack. And it's the, you can see like the shop, the blade on it is not as big as on the, on the other axis and the, not as strong either, but it's like strong enough I like, really like this axe just because of the weight. For me, who's um, out a lot, it's nice to have something that's light, easy to pack, and uh, that means that you will bring it more often than if you have like a big, really long axe. And as you can see, it's also have like a bent shaft, which makes it easier to use it this way too. But, I mean, this is not the I, uh, axe you will use on ice. This is only for climbing in, in snow. And here you can see this is an uh, older version of um, uh, more of like a glacier ice axe. 
uh, you can see they are longer uh, straight shaft and this is just because when you walk on the glacier you want to have something that's easy to reach down on the on the snow and check out snow bridges um, but um, so if you're looking for like one axe to do it all and you know that you go a lot of uh, on uh, glaciers during the summer maybe this could be it but for me I think this is way too long and bumpy and I like like these small light ones much much better and I also have uh, you can see here this is like more of a technical ice this is like a proper ice axe for ice climbing and I wouldn't really recommend this one if you're into looking for a ice axe for ski touring if you're out for ice axe for ski touring you would choose like some of of these ones you see they are pretty short uh, if it have like a bench shaft like these ones they are a little bit more expensive like this one with the straight shaft but a straight shaft axe like this maybe cost you six seven hundred uh, knock And uh, feel free to, if you have some comments, just drop them down below in the comment field and I will answer you as, uh, as soon as possible. Um, and uh, now I wanted to talk a little bit about um, crampons to use when we're out ski touring. Remember this is not like a climbing uh, crampon. Here I have one. Uh, from uh, this is a crampon from camp uh, this m specific model is from camp but like a lot of the brands makes pretty pretty similar ones they have this um, attachment with like a rubber cord in the front and in the back and they, this means that they will fit a ski boot a snowboard boot a hiking shoe or whatever so this crampon you will be able to have during the whole year for all kind of you can walk on glaciers you can walk on snow um, you shouldn't be climbing with this one easy to here's like a metal plate you can open up and then it's easy to adjust the, adjust the length of, of the size so it's like one size fits all and um, this can go from like um, size 38 up to 48 and then um, like backside with these ones is that they are a little bit heavy and not super easy to to pack and um, when you're choosing a um, crampon for your ski boots it's important that you have something that fits your your boots so i have a couple of different boots with me here to see the difference if you have a ski boot like this here i have the the um, dynafit radical pro boot this one have a nose like the classic uh, nose that most ski boots have you see this one here in the here in the front uh, when you have that you can have like this is a, a crampon that's made specific for ski boots you see it's a, like a metal piece here in the front and easy to just snap on this one in the in the back easy to step in in with your heel and then i just snap this up and connect it with one like that easy perfect if you're just looking into if you know that like i'm only going uh, skiing i won't really ever use this crampon on any other activities this would be like the perfect perfect uh, crampon this is also the just when you have this uh, toe piece to to uh, Put it on it means that it will be you will be able to put it together to be much much 
smaller compared to this one from compared to this one from from camp so this will be much easier to fit in your in your backpack and um, some of you may have ski boots uh, from like a lot of the ski boots from Dynafit they have this speed nose uh, the advantage of the speed nose is that you have like the the attachment point a little bit further in on the ski boot and you have like a more natural step and here I actually have taken one of my older uh, camp uh, um, crampons and uh, then I have like a Dynafit um, speed nose adapter so you see this green piece that's up here a metal piece here and then like a, a, a wire that's on top of it and that means that I now can fit my speed nose in here and then I just flip it up and attach it again light aluminium you don't need to have like steel crampons for snow and as long as it's not any any ice or anything it's just good enough with um, uh, metal or in aluminium and here last I have uh, the new crampons from um, Dynafit this is um, what I think like really really cool and really you can see they looks like this super lightweight small you can almost fit them in your in your pocket like this and now you wonder how do you attach this one so this is a specific for these uh, a couple of the speed nose uh, boots from Dynafit they have this attachment so I will show you I will just take it off so under the boot you can drill out two holes and then you attach this uh, metal piece under the under the foot and then you can see there's like a small out here this has like small metal piece sticking up so I just take my boot and uh, put it on like that and then I just snap it on looks if you use the normal crampons it looks really scary when you don't see the the, um, the toe piece or anything here in the in the toe but these ones works really good super lightweight and uh, uh, of course super expensive uh, so it's um, if you're looking for something um, special and lightweight and have a boot that's compatible with those ones you should just go for for these ones super super cool ones hope that helped out to answer some of your questions and uh, if you have some uh, comments just drop them below and i will try to answer you as soon as possible see you guys